So I took my BMW down to get it uh, remapped today and uh, man that was a lot of fun so um, I, uh, I've come home in the courtesy car. <laughs> yeah, it didn't go so well so um, whilst it was there and on the dyno uh, my car decided to, uh, to wee oil all over the floor. Yeah, not so great. So um, a bit of an issue there. It blew the uh, crankshaft, crankshaft seal from behind the crankshaft pulley and emptied about two litres of engine oil all over the workshop floor. So, you know, that's how these things go sometimes. It's just how it goes. Okay, so next day, the car's here. You may also notice that the Range Rover is not here. And that is because it's down at the... Uh, the MOT testing station because I now need to drive it as my main car. So let's have a look underneath and see what the actual trouble is. Mm. Just before we get under the car and have a look at what we think might be the problem, I'll show you why I've got an inkling as to how serious this problem is. Whilst at the tuning center, we uh, removed the crankshaft pulley. Um, because this is where the main seal is, just behind here. That's where all the oil came out of. Um, just to have a little look and see um, if it was the main seal where the oil was coming from, which it was. And that was torn to pieces. And just behind it... Now to those that don't know, that's bad. Um, this is the remnants of a main bearing shell. And that's a very very serious problem really so let's just get under and see uh, if I can see any more information on exactly how bad this situation is <laughs> right all of the sump bolts are out the starter motor is disconnected um, all that remains now is to remove the oil level sensor because it has to come out so that you can pull the sump, uh, sort of remove it backwards, rearwards, if you like. That's the back of the car that way. Um, so that it clears the oil pump assembly um, just beneath where the timing chains are. So uh, let's pull that uh, sensor out and then start to carefully lever the sump away because it'll just be held by its uh, RTV sealant now. And then we can see what sort of horrendous damage the car has done to itself um, as the uh, the main bearing or bearings have spun. So uh, let's do that now. Okay, little correction. At this point, I decided not to remove the sump because it was quite difficult. The RTV sealant that I put on is holding it really quite firmly in place and I didn't want to cause any damage considering it's all aluminium. Um, trying to get it off while it's in the engine and the engine really does have to come out at some point so uh, I'm gonna leave it in and you'll see what I do next <laughs> just from reaching into the sump and if you can see that that's a bit of a that's a bearing you obviously shouldn't have shards of metal like this sat in the sump it's a pretty it's a pretty bad sign. Okay, so it would seem the police car project has come back to bite us in the ass. Um, and if you need to say I told you so, go ahead and get out of your system, it's fine. It's um, been a bit of a learning curve working on BMWs for the first time and um, seeing what sort of a punishment um, these uh, N57 engines can take. I imagine from the continued heavy loads the police would have put on it, um, over the years and then me tipping it over the edge putting it on a dyno to see what it's actually got still in it if anyone's interested on the dyno run which was successful before any problems occurred with stock power it managed 251 horsepower um, at the crank and uh, here's my dyno graph to show you so it had only lost a few horses in the time um, between all of its hard life and now so um, anyway that's that question now is what do you do? So you've got a, a few options when you've uh, spun a main bearing. Your block is pretty much junk. The engine block. So the engine's got to come out. Um, you can either scrap your car 
and just break it for bits. You can sell it to someone like me that might want to buy it cheap and fix it up, or you can fix it up yourself. So after some long, hard deliberation and a lot of resistance in the family because apart from me, nobody seems to like my car, um, I'm going to mend it. So um, that'll be the next project now. What are we going to do? I'm not going to source a whole new engine. I'm going to disassemble it, see what parts are good, what parts are not, and we're going to rebuild the engine from scratch. And we're going to do it on the drive and we're going to do it as cheap as possible just like when we did the timing chain so um, stay tuned i think this is going to be fun by the way i've never done this before on a straight six like this so uh, it'll be a bit of an experience i think see you later